Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Magic here coming at you with a video on how to show emotes on stream with stream elements. So if you're looking for something like this, you are in the right spot. Okay, so to get started, we're going to want to go to the stream elements website. That's just streamelements.com. Once you're on here, you're just going to want to connect with Twitch. So you just click on the button here and sign in. If you use stream elements, probably going to take you right to the dashboard, which is going to look a little something like this. In the dashboard, we just want to look for my overlays when we click on it here we're then going to create blank overlay so the overlay resolution really only has to be whatever your monitor is so if you've got a 1080p monitor you can just leave it uh if you have a 2k monitor then 1440p and then if you've got 4k you can go under custom and then there's 900 720 whichever we're under 1080 so then we'll press start there and then we want to click add widget here on the left hand side and we'll go under alerts and then go to Capogen. Click on it. All we have to do at this point, because it's 500 by 500, so we just want to make sure we stretch it across the screen. So we'll go to position, size, and style, and we want to change this to 1920 by 1080. So it should be stretched across the screen, but if it's not, we just press center widget. You're good to go. So to kind of break this down here, uh, XQC, not too sure if he uses stream elements, but it's relatively the same thing. Combo mode, uh, you'll notice on his streams, it says in the bottom left if there's a combo. So let's say, you know, you hit a 360 no scope cross map, everyone's flipping out in chat, a bunch of emotes, which whatever. Then this will come in handy, especially if you've got a lot of people in your chat. So it's not kind of annoying on, on your screen. It's, emotes aren't always flying around all the time. So combo mode will come in handy and you can just kind of mess around with this to whichever. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll just do show all and you can configure this as well. So it starts off with unlimited emotes per user. I personally use about five emotes per user per second, but you can really change this to whatever you want. So if you want to do one emote every 20 seconds per user, you can do that. It's really just up to you and how you want to do it. And of course you can change how long they're on screen. And we'll press save here in the top right and we'll call it Capogen. So now we've got that saved, we'll go over emote explosions real quick. I would probably recommend to turn it off for followers, but you can leave it on if you want. It's just, let's say if you get raided and you get a bunch of follows coming in, you can't see anything. Um, so you can probably turn that off or leave it on. And then to, to kind of test it out, uh, see how it looks, subscriber event, you can go down here and not going to see my emotes but you can pick whatever emotes that you do want so if you have some emotes of your own and you want to use them you would just check them or if you only want to use certain emotes of yours you can do that as well just by clicking them one by one your better tv emotes uh franker faces i don't know why they're not showing up here but you can use those also and whatever else really it's really customizable if you want the animation to be random, you can leave it on that. All of these are pretty nice. You know, if you want to, to check one out specifically, like fountain, you can do that. Or you can just leave it on random. There's also seasonal hats. Oh, yeah. So once you've got that configured, all is well. Uh, we'll press save again in the top right. And once again, the opacity. So if you want to change this to, to the point where you can actually see through the emotes a little bit, so they're not kind of just hogging up the screen the entire time, maybe put it at half or whichever, but you can leave it as well, if especially if you're not using that many emotes. All depends. But yeah, we'll save and we'll click right here on this little clip icon. It says copy overlay URL then copies it to the clipboard. And all we got to do now is navigate over to OBS. Go down here, click on our good old plus icon, and then go to browser and we'll call it Capogen. And we'll put that link in here that we got from Stream Elements. Stretch it across the screen, so 1920 by 1080. Then you're all set, you don't gotta check any of these. If it doesn't stretch across the screen, all you gotta do is right click the source down here. When you right click it, go under transform, and just hit fit to screen. Test it out here on the side. There we go, all right, cool. So we're all set there. Now, uh, as a, a quick warning here, there is a command that's linked to Capogen directly. You can turn it off or just set it to yourself or to mods, whatever you like. So to get here, we wanna go on the, the left-hand panel and uh, we wanna look for chat commands. When you're under this, we wanna look for Capogen. 
once we find capogen here you can turn it off entirely if you want uh, or you can leave it on pretty much what it looks like is it's just a bunch of emotes so let's say if you don't turn this off and i'm not too sure if it's like this now I remember this was a problem when i originally installed it a while back but somebody could come in your chat and just spam cabbage in a bunch of times and emotes everywhere so you can limit it to just mods if you want to or if you want to just set it to yourself you can do that that way it's still on and you can use it if you want also if you want uh and you're using text-to-speech already with isaiah Criati's bot that he has he does have an option where you can use channel points to display an emo on stream now the only thing is with this it's not as customizable you can't change the emote size position time until it fades away you can't really change anything like that but this is just an option if you wanted to use your channel points for showing emotes on screen so that is there as of right now other than that i do want to thank you all so much for checking out this video if you have any further questions please feel to drop them below i do go live every other day or try to on twitch.tv magic so feel free to drop a follow on there i'd greatly appreciate it uh, new videos coming soon probably going to drop one on trigger fire i've been trying to figure that out and that's been been an experience to say the least so yeah once again thank y'all and uh until next time see you later